Hey, what's going on everyone? Appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Fallout 76 video. In this one, I'm going to be bringing awareness to something that you can still currently get in the game that you're not going to want to miss out on, especially if you're looking for a really powerful weapon. But before I get into this, I just want to let you guys know real quick that I am currently hosting a giveaway. This is like my thank you for your guys' continued support. I don't really do much giveaways, so I decided to go big with this one. Within this one, you're actually able to win a console of your choice. I'm gonna be giving away an Xbox Series S or a PlayStation 4 or a Nintendo Switch. The winner will get to choose which one they want. All you gotta do to participate in this is just simply leave a like on the video, comment something, and subscribe and turn on notification bell or go follow my Twitch, which a link to it will be down below in the description. You don't have to do both. You don't have to subscribe and click the notification bell if you go and follow my Twitch. Totally up to you which route you wanna to go to participate. But yeah, this giveaway will be ending next month on May 11th, so stay tuned for that. I will be announcing the winner on my YouTube community page, and I'll be getting in contact with the winner as well. I'm paying attention who's participating. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this now. First things first, uh, what this thing is that's currently in the game that will be going away eventually is a part of the season scoreboard. It's this amazing weapon that you can currently get. It's called the Cremator, as you can see here. I'm going to be reviewing this weapon and showing it off to you guys. This is a unique weapon that you can currently get once again in the game. And once this season scoreboard goes away, I don't know if there's going to be another way that we can get it. There could be a chance that there won't be, or maybe Bethesda will sell it in the Atomic Shop, or maybe we can grind for it. Uh, from getting stamps. I don't know, but currently we can't get the Nuka Launcher anymore at the moment. I don't know if Potesta plans to bring that around sometime in the game again somehow, but yeah, this is definitely something you don't want to miss out on because you never know if they're going to return this or not. It could be in a long time where they'll finally return this into the game. How you earn this one, you have to reach rank 22 in the scoreboard, which is pretty far in the scoreboard, but I, I say it's worth it. I don't know if any of you guys have gotten your hands on it, but it's pretty amazing. It is going to require 55 tickets, so keep that in mind. But once you unlock it, you'll be able to craft it at a workbench. All right, so here I am at a workbench. Let's see. Here's the cremator. I got to have science expert rank one. It's going to require 13 adhesive, 17 asbestos, uh, 12 copper, 16 rubber, 14 screws, 14 springs, and 36 steel. Yeah, yes, sir. This gun looks amazing. Bada bing, bada boom. We got it. Banger. Let's check it out. No legendary perks on it right now. Of course, you can get legendary perks by using legendary modules. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you like to burn things, this is definitely the weapon to get. And for those of you wondering about this outfit I got, it was a limited time outfit. You had to, like, log in during a specific time to unlock it. It's called the Wasteland Wanderer outfit. A lot of people wonder about it when I wear it during videos. Yeah, it's a rare one. That's something also a lot of players missed out on. I don't want players to miss out on this awesome weapon in the game, so I decided to make a video just bringing awareness to it. Let's see. So it's going to require fuel. All right, so let's put this to the test. I'm going to put my headset on. Wow. Annihilated, dude. And keep in mind, once again, no legendary perks are on this right now. Just annihilated them. Alright, so here it is. Some more in action. Here they come.
Yeah! And keep in mind, this isn't even legendary. It could be way stronger than what it is now. That's the damage I'm rocking. It has nice fire damage on this. So yeah, here's the damage we're at, 328. And it has six second fire damage burn. It has amazing fire damage on this. But uh, yeah, here's the build I'm rocking. Of, of course this build could be better. If you have suggestions on how to make it better, feel free to jot down below in the comments. I'll take it into consideration and heck, maybe make a dedicated guide build video over this weapon. Uh, but yeah, I uh, have 15 in strength with all the heavy gunner perk cards. With uh, lock and load, this makes it so my heavy guns reload faster. And barbarian. And perception, I got three in it with uh, pick locking skills. Endurance, I got three with Fireproof. Fireproof makes it so I do less damage from explosions and flame attacks. Like, for example, you do less damage against Scorch Beast with Fireproof, so it's pretty handy. Or maybe you accidentally shoot yourself with the Cremator. You're not going to take as much damage. But yeah, anyways, for Charisma, I got 13 in that. And I have Friendly Fire, which just heals your teammates, which can be pretty handy, especially if you have, like, NPCs you got to keep alive during some specific events, like Radiation Rumble. Um, there's also, I also got three in Inspirational to level up faster, Strange in Numbers just to get a little bit stronger, Tenderizer to do a little bit more damage, and Suppressor to reduce the enemy's damage. Intelligence, I got nine. I got three in Nerd Rage, three for batteries included, so my fuel weighs less, and three in First Aid. Honestly, the First Aid could be swapped out. You could take, you could just have six in Intelligence and put three more points into Agility, which is what I'm covering next. I got seven in Agility currently with uh, five for Adrenaline and two for Evasive. Adrenaline helps you do more damage and Evasive makes it so you can dodge uh, attacks so you don't take as much damage. Anyways, for Luck, I got 11 in that with Two for starch jeans, three for bloody mess. This makes it so you deal more damage. Uh, three in one gun army. This makes it so your heavy guns gain a 12% stagger chance and a 12% chance to cripple a limb. And three in serendipity, which just makes it so you have a chance to dodge attacks if, if you have a lower health build, which I typically do. That's the reason why I got nerd rage on to deal more damage. But uh, yeah, that's the uh, build I got going on. Not the craziest build. Of course, this build could be tweaked to make it better. If you have any suggestions on how we could tweak it to make it better, feel free to jot down below once again in the comments if you feel like doing that. Anyways, yeah, that's a quick preview over this weapon and its devastation. I'm telling you guys, this is an amazing weapon. If you didn't get a chance to get your hands on the Nuka Launcher, this is definitely a great substitute. It fires similar to the Nuka Launcher, and it deals out that nice fire damage. Also, um, I've heard that Demolition Expert makes it so this weapon does more damage, but I just tested it. It doesn't seem like it does, at least for the damage itself. As you can see, that's what I'm doing right now for damage. Now watch when I put on Demolition Expert. Same thing. I don't know. So yeah, I don't suggest putting on Demolition Expert. It doesn't seem like it increases the damage. I don't know. Either way, this is an amazing weapon to get your hands on, and it's only around in the game for a limited time. They could make it so we could get it from expeditions, like grinding for stamps, but I don't know. We currently can't get the Nuka Launcher like that. They could bring it around the Atomic Shop, though, in the future, if you don't get your hands on it currently. But yeah, I appreciate you all stopping by and checking out this video. Just wanted to bring awareness to this weapon, since we are currently able to get it. It's not going to be around much longer. Once the season scoreboard ends, who knows? You might not be able to get it for a while. But yeah, I'm out of here, everyone. As always, most importantly, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.